Corey, the owner, co-owner of The Conjuring House, literally says that this place we're investigating today is the most haunted place he's ever been in his life, and it's the reason why he started ghost hunting. A lot of stuff has gone on here that the town doesn't really talk about. There was a big outbreak, I believe it was the 30s. They were actually quarantined here, like against their will. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're out here in the middle of a four-way intersection. We are in the middle of Main Street in Rumford, Maine. We're about to investigate another episode for Beyond the Dark at one of the most haunted places in the country, according to the owners of The Conjuring House. I don't know, if I owned a place as haunted as The Conjuring House, I don't think any other place on the planet would be as haunted. But Corey, our good friend, the owner, co-owner of The Conjuring House, literally says that this place we're investigating today is the most haunted place he's ever been in his life, and it's the reason why he started ghost hunting. So. Yep. I don't know what's gonna happen, but me and Josh are here and we're doing it. Dude, it's actually true. He did say this is the reason why I started ghost hunting, so this is a big place. It's serious to him, and he's the conjuring house owner, so we have to be here. Yes. Oh no, a car's coming. We gotta go! Here we go. We're walking right up to it. This is it right here. The Greater Rumford Community Center. It's got a gym, it's got a place for kids, it's like a daycare, I don't know. But it's, it's been so many different things. We're gonna get the history from Corey. What happened? What happened? Hey guys. You're haunted! Somebody <laughs> <laughs> says it's not right. Yeah, right. he was like, it's not really haunted. <laughs> So clearly there's a lot of speculation about this place. We got locals telling us it's not haunted from across the street yelling at us. And then we got the owners of the Conjuring House telling us that it is haunted. It's the most haunted they've ever seen. John says that it's definitely haunted. You know, we got Casey here with us too. She's always coming along, you know. <laughs> Let's go, son. Too fat. <laughs> Josh, are you eyeing the candy over there already? Diet oh, was supposed to start baby. yesterday. Diet was supposed to start yesterday? I heard that like the last time I saw you in October. Yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the building, when the building was originally built, it was called the Institute. It was built for the mill workers here in town. Basically a place for them to come and relax with their families after the work day was done. But changed hands throughout the years, but it's always been kind of like a staple here in the community. A lot of stuff has gone on here that the town doesn't really talk about, and you can't really find anything online about it, which is pretty peculiar. There was a big outbreak, I believe it was the 30s. I don't know if it was something that people were developing inside the mill or what, but they were actually quarantined here, like against their will. And there's actually still some folks, like old timers that live here in town that talk about how they remember being stuck here like against their will and not being able to come up and see stuff. What the so, hell? And they don't know what the quarantine was about? No, they have no idea. Um, there's a lot of stuff about this town that people don't talk about. Per capita, this town alone has the most cancer cases in America. 60 Minutes did a huge, huge expose on it. They actually fought against it being premiered in the state because they were worried about the backlash about it. And they felt that it was because of the mill and so there's been a lot of stance. That's like the that. whole conspiracy theory alone. It seems oh, like God, it. Yeah. Just seems like I, this whole I like apparently not just this place, but the whole town is like shrouded in mystery. Yeah. So the locals, we know the locals are crazy already. So that well, yeah. We had one talk to us outside. <laughs> yeah. So this was basically like this was Jen, John, and I's training ground. Really? Like for probably about six, seven years growing up. So that's how you guys got so good. I wouldn't say it got so good. It was <laughs> just we kind of got spoiled by what we what we always saw. I mean, there was like weekends would be here, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. Just finding ghosts, like in just, Yeah, just perfecting the craft, like how, how our style is and stuff like that. What What is your most like memorable like haunted moment here? 
probably when I was told to get out by something down in the basement. Jesus Christ! That was the first time we ever had like a very distinct disembodied voice. Damn. This uh, seems seems wild. Yep. All right, then let's let's get it then. Now we got what okay. are we doing? Let's get into it. Let's go, boys. Oh, shit. We're already getting into the dark. All right, here we go. Beyond the dark. Let's go. Whoa, whoa. All right, I'm going to film it. So, guys, we're right here in the middle of the of the gym. This is the basketball court. This is where we're going to do, like, our first, like, real sit down and just, like, kind of get a feel for the place, see how the night's going to go. Usually, we'll get a lot of activity here and over in that corner. Over in this corner, there was a lady that actually had a heart attack. She passed away during a basketball game. And the, and the thing is, like, when you start talking about hauntings and stuff like that, it's only traumatic events that cause hauntings and stuff like that. But we actually use the woman's name, which we will not do. Yeah. Um, you know, I, you know I respect and stuff like that. But we've actually got replies to the names of the person her, that died. person's name. So right. It's, it's just pretty cool. All right, guys, so we're going to go dark for a minute. We're going to have the night vision camera going handheld, and we're also going to have a camera right here in the middle of the court, just kind of like showing off everything that's happening. That way you get two angles. You can kind of see everything that's going on. We're going to go dark and see what happens. So what is? what do you want to do, Corey? Just play the quiet game? Yep. And just listen? All right. I'm just going to like set a ball over here, too. So. The ball moves, right? Anybody here with us? Knocking sound. Sorry, we've been gone so long. Do you still remember us? We used to come here all the time, like every weekend, just about. Happy Tom Brady won the Super Bowl. Can you give us a big knock? That, that was definitely a knock. Casey's already going out here, just doing something on her own. Yeah, this is why we bring her along. See what she's up to. Casey, if anything happens, just call it out. What? If anything happens, just call it out. Okay. You good, John? You see that girl sitting in the corner over there? Her name's Casey. She's, she's asking if you'd give her a hug. Please. You want to get this angle from down there? Do you want me to try? Yeah, maybe it'll be a better angle since the viewers didn't see this angle. Yeah. We might only take even four seconds of this, but we have some knocks on this side. Yeah, we'll see. You said you're hearing like dragging? It's, it's either like dragging or like someone's like sweeping. Hmm. Is she okay? Right here. She does have more. Yo, Is she, is she good? 
Yeah, she has like a whole like scratch. Is it is it okay if I film it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, for a look. <laughs> you can see it. It's like all yeah. red right there. It's on fire. You actually can see it even in the infrared. It looks like it's getting worse as it goes. Oh Jesus! <laughs> That's kind of weird. I've never seen that happen in real life. Me, though. of course. He got scratched before it got in, but I never added it on camera because I wasn't sure. So that kind of that might mean something's going on around here. Maybe. I mean, she's she's been saying she's feeling stuff, so maybe. Well, it's just we're just okay, picking it up. Look at my arm. What? No, for real. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks like I have a scratch right there too. Yeah. Yeah, legit. A little one. Oh yeah, yeah, from there, going in. Yep. What the hell? You can see that. So guys, we've been hearing a ton of little noises all around the place. Everything from tapping to knocking. We've heard a couple things that sound like voices. Casey's over there and she says she hears like things dragging or sweeping across the floor. We don't really know, but we're gonna try to do a spirit box session and see if we can get any kind of response. Hi. Hi. I heard a hi. I'm Bill. I'm Bill. I think it was a bill. Who's here with us? Isaac. 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 Yeah. Who's? <laughs> if you're dead, can you say dead clearly into this? If you're here with us, can you tell me what sport they play in this room? Hockey. Okay. Nice. Layup. Layup, okay. Alright. Let's regroup. Bring it in, kids. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. A lot of people don't know what really happened here. You guys are the only ones that really know the truth. I don't know if you guys know this either, but right now the world is going through its own pandemic. Although we're not quarantined here, we're... That was a knock. You know, when me and Josh first walked in here, one of the locals that live here said that this place isn't really haunted. That nothing's really in here. I would really like to be able to prove that local wrong by getting some communication from you guys, whoever's here with us. Did you hear those that footsteps? Legit. That was a series that of like three legit. or four. Yeah, that was legit someone walking. Doing. That can't be them. We've been chilling up here for, I don't know, what, like a half hour, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, we've been filming for like over an hour and a half now. Yeah, at least in this area. We've been downstairs, we've been up here on the track. We don't really have like any crazy things that like pop out at you, but we are getting a ton of like knocking, tapping, even some footsteps and what sounds like a disembodied voice. Can't really prove that yet. We got to make sure that our group downstairs isn't like freaking out or doing anything crazy so we're gonna try to debunk that voice thing but i think there's definitely something going on here they might just be warming up to us the night's still young we're gonna go and move on to do something else and we'll just see what happens buy the merch buy it yo we were actually getting some stuff that's why we were here oh okay we actually just stopped though it yeah. came in were you guys like screaming no did we're, you hear my message we're all happy but no no you hear screaming like screeching. Loud voice. No, really no, loud. no, that's not. He was sleeping. Okay, so. No, that apparently was not us. that screeching and screaming was was not them. So hmm. we might have actually got some disembodied voices there. So we're heading up, going to the apartments. I guess this place had apartments. Yo, it's mad hot in here. Damn. Crazy how all these books are still here. Damn, the outsiders. That's an old copy right there. This is dope. Do you want to switch cams real quick? Because they're doing stuff out there in the dark and you've got light in here. I don't think I can get it without Okay, go switch. All right. I'm gonna head back out here. 
All right, you come in here or no? Yeah, I'm All right, we're gonna shut this door when, okay. if someone's in. I'm gonna right. try some DR60. Peace. Peace, bro. All right, here I go. You've come to just communicate with you so we can learn from you. I didn't like when the locals told us that it's not really haunted. Because I want to believe you guys are here and that you have stories to tell. Are there too many of us at once? Do you want us to try and communicate in smaller groups? Do you want me to turn off my camera? Because I will. If you want him to turn off the camera, can you knock once for yes, two for no? Alright, how about this? I'll just turn off the camera on my own accord. Alright guys, so we literally yeah. got nothing just standing up here. Uh, and the IR light just died, god damn it. Okay, so I just came into the apartment side of this gymnasium. I'm out there trying to record. I even turned off the camera. You guys saw it and I'm getting nothing. Not a damn thing. But you know, this whole time we're sitting there in silence and we hear these guys screaming. So I come in here now because I, I want to know what's up. And apparently they're getting crazy EVPs. So hold up, can, like, can you tell yo, me like what's yo. going on? So here's what's going on. John's over here using DR60 and we put it over here and we said, can you name this book? And at the time it was Edgar. This was this book. You can clear as day here, Edgar. So you can play those clips, clear as day. Spirits, if you're in this room, can you say the name of this book into the voice recorder? to it and say the name of the book loudly and clearly and slowly into this red light. <laughs> I know, let's see, let's see. Please, for the love of God. Dear, please say Edgar. I swear I heard Edgar in the I kind of heard it too. I kind of heard it too. Like, wait a while. Yeah. 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 What? Oh my god! Oh my god, we got it! We got it! We got it! We got it. We got it. We're getting crazy, crazy stuff. Oh, don't worry, bro. This is. You. Tell me what you hear. What did it say? Hold up, play that one more time. Play what? that one more time. Alright, we're not after, telling you. After, after the loud noise, listen to the sound. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Bro, come on, we can't make that up. The whole video from the from the beginning to the end, none of us say that. It's clear as day. Dude. And and when people say, oh, the, it was shaking. Nah, it was left here. No, nothing was vibrating or moving. We're it. just getting like greedy now. We're like yeah, yeah. The books. <laughs> I'm the books. Oh my so god, cool. yo! I it's wish I was in right. here. Well, we're here now. Let's see what we can get. Okay, so we're gonna try and get the How spirit that's in here to say <laughs> that date right there via EVP. Right, let's see. Recording now. So. Setting recorder down. Spirits, if you're in this room still, can you come up and tell us what this date is on this book? 
into this voice recorder. When we play it back, we'll be able to hear you say it, okay? Thank you. Fingers crossed, Pray. boys. Fingers crossed. Come on. Let's go. I'll take July. I don't even need the numbers anymore. Yeah, just, just July. Just tell me the mic. Come on. <laughs> July, so I don't care anymore. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda hear July. Mm -hmm. I kinda do. Mm -hmm. oh, clear as you guys have we were right. getting clear ones, but right. you can yeah. kinda make out July if it said July, but right. we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take what we can get. <laughs> so when we're not ghost hunting, we're doing gymnastics. Check out me and Seth's moves. <laughs> That's how you do it. Alright guys, so we've done a ton of investigating all over the place. Now, we're heading to the most haunted room in the entire place, at least according to Corey. Apparently the basement is where Corey's been scratched, he's been told to get out. A multitude of different things have happened here. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna try and see what we can capture. This has been a fun one so far. Just a lot of good evidence. I want more though, so let's do this. I mean, we could, yeah, I think we can make like a little satanic circle right there. <laughs> The plan, obviously, if something yells at us to get out, we get the fuck out of here. Like, we just book it. And if you get stuck down here, I don't know, we'll try to save you, but no promises. All right, so we're setting up a perimeter right now. Uh, we'll put a REM pod in the middle of us, and I'll take the music box and... What about behind it? Are you behind us? Yeah, because we have so much REM pods behind Which way we... Which way should I... Which should I... Oh, sit right here in this corner or right here. All right, I have a... I have Yo, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Look, all this stuff's going on. Turn around. Of course it did. We'll move this ball towards the middle. We should show that we all can't touch the ball. Keep moving. Okay. Alright. Okay, was that a coincidence? I have that on camera. I was I was filming. That could have just fallen, but I'm gonna analyze the footage and let everybody know. What? I don't know what just happened, but the I see ball. the ball fall. Oh. Okay. Uh, could it be the? It could Yo, be the what cost. the hell? That's still going on. Thank you. What's going on right now? Cost? All right, so we got a whole arsenal of things going on. First of all, we're in our own little satanic circle right here. We got a ball resting on a can of Rust-Oleum paint. REM pod. We also got another REM pod over there. Josh has his music box placed somewhere back there, I think. Yep. John says there's tunnels down here. I mean, we could just go walk and see what the tunnels look like. I a very depressing feeling down here right now. I don't know. Yeah. Come here. I heard that too. Come in front of me. What the fuck is 
I have no idea. Well, what was wrong? I, I've, never, I've never been scared by anything. We, we heard a really noise. fucking creepy noise behind us. That's a great question. It what? really is look a great question. Ladder. How do they do this? And look at, yeah, it gets that really ladder wide. would get us into any abandoned place. Dead ass. Yeah. That's, I mean, there's definitely asbestos down here. That's oh, 100 percent. This is this is bad. All I'm saying yeah, is, yeah. I'm getting I'm getting a weird feeling in the basement. I think we need to try something. Would it be possible to do like a quick like spirit box out there where we're just sitting and see what happens? That's all we can. Yeah, so clearly if that ball moves, yeah, something's problem. happening. We're switching to the Josh cam. If you're down here in the basement, can you say basement for us? What the no. hell? Did you hear that too? No, that was crazy. That was what crazy. Is that? Basement. Just had a low voice. Yeah. Is there anyone in this group you'd like to talk to? Corey? Anyone else you want? Yeah, I heard Corey. I heard Corey. If you want to talk to Corey, can you say his name again? What am I pointing to right now? Yeah, I heard ball. Yeah, kid? I heard that. Is there a kid down here with us? What? What? Come find us. I said, I heard it say, come find us whore. <laughs> I seriously heard whore. Oh, that's not nice. I'll pretend you didn't say that. What's your name? What's your name? I heard die. Die? Die. My name's Casey. Can you say Casey? Casey. Casey yep. right away. Thank you. Yes. Oh, that's again, sweet. Awesome. What's your name? Oh. What was that? Some devil. The real devil. I heard William D and I didn't yeah. hear the... Is it okay that I'm here? I heard it like a faint yes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Do you want to talk to anyone here? I think I heard you. Do you want to talk to me? If you want to talk to me, say Casey. Did he say it? I thought I heard go to sleep. Oh, okay. Okay. Casey uh, right there. Hey, that was clear. Tell me your name. Who am I talking to? <laughs> Frank? Frank. Weird voices going yeah. on. You're hearing them? Yeah, there's weird ones on the spare box. Oh, yeah. Can you tell me what's right here? What am I pointing to? <laughs> Did you hear that? What did it say? It said did it really? Yeah. I don't think that's what they're There are dirty swear. ones down here though. Yeah. yeah. We like it when you swear. Fuck. Fuck <laughs> bitch. <laughs> that was funny. Oh my Love god. It, swear. Thank you. It's such an intelligent response because they haven't swore like this whole time and yeah. the minute we ask right them after to, they do it. Fuck bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to god, just heard Seth Gordon. I don't know, but I'm recording, so... I could be tripping. Did you... Oh, it's been crazy shit on that. I ain't hear it. What's this guy's name? See. I, I thought I heard it twice. So. Do you want us to get out? I heard yes. But then I heard no. Alright guys, this is completely unexpected, not planned whatsoever, but we're literally just gonna sleep here. Where I was ju jumping around with Josh doing the trampoline and all that, we're literally sleeping on the trampoline. <laughs> what do you think about that? I love it, we have the snacks. <laughs> we're set. What do you think about sleeping here? I feel like we're back in boot camp. I feel like I'm on like a like a high school sleepover. Yeah, Ooh, I didn't think of that. We got our snacks right here, you know, chips and dip, whatever. 
chips and dip. The homies are here. Yeah, I'm gonna dip my cinnamon bun into it. <laughs> in the French onion dip? Yeah. Do it. You're not gonna, no, I'm not. Yeah. You're not gonna like that. It's like okay. okay. And rum for that's the only thing that's open. Seafood salad sub. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. At one, two in the morning? It's like two in the morning. It's like 2.30. It this is dope. I think this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was I mean, it's awful. Can I smell it? Yeah. Oh! Maybe you like it, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't like mine either. Me, dog. This ain't it. <laughs> I'm probably still gonna eat it though, because yeah, it's too yeah, in the morning. I'm hungry. Yeah. All right, kids, so that's it. We explored the entire place. We investigated all of it. Now we're gonna stay here overnight. You know, if we make it out alive, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, be yourself and go explore the world. Peace and thanks for watching.